Oh yeah, ore. Good morning, guys. You know, I'm trying to learn some culture here and it's not easy. I'm still trying to get used to these beautiful streets of Kisumu. Wait a minute, how did I even get myself here? But first, I feel like we need to start from the beginning. Hello guys, welcome back again to this YouTube channel and thank you for clicking this video. We are on a journey to 2000 subscribers and right now we are almost eating 1500 and thank you to everyone who has been supporting this channel and uh, I don't really take it for granted. So if you're new here, my name is Pelnino Isaac, I really love creating and uh, feel appreciated. So today we are in Kisumu and um, Every time I visit a new place, I try as much as possible to learn their culture. And since we are here in Kisumu, there is no any other better place to know more about the Luo culture apart from the Kisumu National Museum. But Kisumu is so clean to such a point that this is the first thing that you will notice immediately you set your foot into this beautiful city. Commuting in Kisumu CBD is very easy and also it's very pocket friendly. You can decide to hop on a bike or ride a motorbike, which is very easy to find one. Kisumu Museum is located just around Kisumu CBD. I was filming using my camera but the security here informed me that I'll have to pay extra so I had to switch to my phone. Payment for adults is 100 Kenya shillings while kids going for 50 Kenya shillings. Non resident depend with the country that one is coming from. There are three main groups of people living in Western Kenya today. They speak the Luo, the Bantu, and the Kalenjin language. They came and settled here at different times. The Luo were skilled fishermen, the Bantu were skilled farmers, while the Kalenjin had special knowledge in cattle, sheep, and goat breeding.
Most of the things here were used long time ago. Some are not actually the original tools, but they have been designed to be used as learning material for people visiting the museum. The aquarium looks very nice, but to me I find it a little bit congested. Some fish cannot even move around freely, and that is really bad. But apart from that, I like everything else about this place. Now we are going to Mze Odero Homestead. I mean, this is the best part that I was waiting uh, in this in this video. And uh, it's not funny, guys. There are actual people living here in this homestead. I guess you're about to find out. <laughs>
Ages, uh -huh. ages. We are coming from the community, uh -huh. but this is where our base is. Right. So uh, basically, uh, you try to showcase the Luo tradition, aspect uh, of life, aspects of life, and uh, the culture itself, and the music part of it. Yeah, of course. It's been a pleasure being here, and I really enjoyed the kind of music that you guys have. And kidogo uh, simona na juu dance. See you every day. So thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for reaching uh, this far. To me Kisumu has been one of those places that has really attracted me and I'll consider even going back again and again because it's such a good place. And uh, I don't know what you guys think about Kisumu Museum. Tell me what you guys think about this museum in your comment section. And uh, if you have ever been here, what was your experience in this place? Did you like it? Um, 
and so forth so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video and sure you hit that subscribe button and adios